Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, in this video, we're going to solve some word problems uh, involving the volume of a cylinder. Okay. So in fact, we're going to do one problem together, and then you have a chance to try one problem on your own, and then at the very end, you can see how you did. All right. So the first problem, we want to find the volume or the capacity of the paint can. So I don't know how much paint is actually in this can. So first of all, we got to look at the shape, and the shape obviously is a uh, cylinder. So let's write down the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So volume equals, okay, pi times r squared, because remember that gets the area of the base, and then we times it by the height. So now it's just a matter of carefully plugging in what we know. Okay, so we know the number pi is 3.14 times. Now the radius, well we know the diameter is 10, so that means the radius is half that. So it's going to be times 5 squared and then times the height, which is 12. Now it's just a matter of carefully following the order of operations. So let's write PEMDAS over here as a reminder. So we need to follow order of operations to, to now solve it. So I'm going to do 5 squared first. So 5 squared is 25. So it's 25 times 12 times pi. And it's totally fine to use a calculator for this. So when I do 3.14 times 25 times 12, I get a volume of 942, and that's going to be cubic inches of paint. So that is the capacity of the can, can to hold the paint. Alright, so now that you understand how to find the uh, volume of a cylinder, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now, and when you're done, you can see how you did. Alright, good luck. All right, welcome back. So let's see how you did with this practice problem. So this question really was, what's the volume of the coffee can, right? So again, uh, I got an answer of 226.08 cubic inches. So the way I got that was I wrote down the formula, which is pi times r squared times h, okay? And the nice thing about this is, this pi times r squared, you can actually see with the, the top of the, of the can, it's right here. So it's the area of the base, and then times the height, which is 8 inches. And when you do that, you get 226.08 cubic inches. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?